You probably know that you can unlock different paraglider skins in Tears of the Kingdom, but maybe you don't know how they look and where to unlock them, and I'm gonna show you that. First off, we have the Nostalgia Fabric, which you can get by visiting the roof of the Temple of Time on the Great Plateau. Next up is the Lucky Clover Gazette Fabric, which you get for doing Princess Sightings, a questline that starts at the Lucky Clover Gazette Stable in the Hebrew region. The Horse God Fabric, which you get for trading in your Pony Points, which you collect by just visiting stables. The CC Fabric, where all you need to do is start the CC quest line in Hateno Village. All of the next ones are reference design paragliders. You need to take pictures and show them to Sage at the Hateno Dye Shop. Once you show him the picture, he will design the fabric and you can apply it to your paraglider. First up is the horse fabric, which you need to take a picture of a horse. The cuckoo fabric, which you can get by taking a picture of a cuckoo or a cuckoo or a whatever. Next up is the Elden Ostrich fabric, which you get by taking a picture of an Elden Ostrich in the Elden region. If you teleport to this shrine here on screen, you'll find one in no time. This is the Grizzle Mob Bear Fabric. These are specific bears that you can find in multiple different locations, but by teleporting to this shrine next to the stable in the Hebrew region and running around the trees, you'll find one in no time. This is the Choo Choo Fabric, which you get for taking a picture of a blue Choo Choo. The Arrokuda Fabric, and if you don't have one, you can find one really close to Hateno Village as well. They're all over the place though, just keep an eye out. This is the Stalnox Fabric. You can get this in the Secret Cave or even easier just go into the depths under Hyrule Field at this location to take a quick picture of a Stalnox. This is the Lionel fabric, and if you want to take an easy picture of a Lionel, I recommend this location here on the map towards the southwest, very close to a stable, and you won't even be in any danger. And to finish off, the Gleok fabric. If you're looking for an easy Gleok to take a picture of, I recommend this one around the western point of the map near Piper's Ridge, and because this one isn't flying or doing anything crazy, it's really easy to just go and take a picture and get out. Let me know which one is your favorite and if this helped remember to follow for more.